Hey guys, uh, today I'm going to be talking about I, after every pre-release, I kind of tally up how much money I spent and what I spent it on. And I spent a lot of money in Magic Origins. I know I originally said, no, I'm not going to spend money in Magic Origins. I'm going to save for a Zendikar, but something happened and it changed the way I spent. So I bought a booster box. Um, again, I spent all this money between two different locals. Um, the locals I play at and the locals I hang out at. So I make sure all the money is local, local game stores, and that's very important. I just didn't expect, um, I actually had envisioned I would just $250. I ended up spending $950 in play match, extra cards, but the majority of money was spent opening pre-release kits. Now pre-release kits I figured were an extreme value at $20, and I made a video about this previously, because you can get four planeswalkers, four goblin pile drivers. I mean, you're guaranteed a foil, and unlike other pre-release kits, you get it as an extra foil. So instead of five packs in a pre-release pack, you get six packs, which is perfect at $20. That's a very good deal at $20. You get a dice, and then you get an extra pack, which is guaranteed to be a foil card. Not just any foil card, a foil, rare, or mythic. And the mythics could be Planeswalkers. And that is what I'm going to talk about right now, is it was just such a good value. I couldn't turn it down. I just kept buying these pre-release kits. Uh, our fat pack giveaway is essentially just pre-release kit packs. And uh, we have more pre-release packs, kit packs. Um, uh, if you watch the channel at all lately, you know that all we do is open pre-release kits all the time. And there's a reason for that, because there's an extreme amount of value that can be made from opening a pre-release kit at $20 or less. Some of these kits sell for a lot less, and now I'm going to explain why they sell for a lot less. It's because the stores have so many of them. Magic Origins, a normal pre-release at my locals will have 70 people the first night, maybe 40 people the next day, and then 20 people on Sunday. Those are the numbers, typical of uh, the larger store. At the current release, it was 30 people, and then 10, and then they didn't have Sunday. So all these store owners have tons of these little packs that they can't do anything with. Um, they can sell them and stuff, but like then again, they can just sell it to you, right? So I spent 950 bucks. Um, a lot of the money was spent on pre-release kits. I probably opened about 20 of them. So 20, that's like 400, but they were more expensive in the beginning. So they weren't always $20. I was paying close to $25 or more. And then there's obviously tax on it and stuff like that. And tax in Texas is so, it's like 8.25%. So it's kind of a heavy tax fee too. Anyway, these pre-release kits uh, were pretty good. Um, I did pull multiple foil planeswalkers, but that's because I opened 20 kits. I pulled just two of them actually. Uh, Chandra and Liliana were the only two. I pulled out 20 kits. I opened, I purchased a booster box like I normally do with any set. Uh, for some fat packs are going to arrive soon. Uh, play mats, tokens, just various other stuff. So I would say Magic Origins related actual product, Magic Origins, I probably opened $600 on. And then the other 350 were play mats. I think you guys have seen the new Fairy Tale play mat, the no new Force of Will play mat, the uh, 4x4 four four binder, the um, tokens, the new tokens that I'm using right now, as well as, I feel I feel like I, oh yeah, yeah, uh, voice, foil, voice of resurgence, uh, regular voices, thought seizes, uh, I have nine now, which I'll talk about a little later, but um, other cards I purchased as well, so a lot of different buys and sell, and things of that nature, but that's like very, very uh, typical, I guess, for a magic purchasing, uh, I, I went too much. I, I did not budget over, I, I, when I budget, I always say, okay, 250, but I'll budget 400 just, just in case. 950 was insane. Um, and this kind of alters the way I have to like save up now because my other hobbies are getting insane now too. Um, it is summer and in summertime, summertime I actually work more hours it's really weird, so maybe, but I also play a lot of uh, video games, uh, Smash Brothers, Magic Duels, like online, just to give you an idea, Final Fantasy is going to come out, and I have a PS4, but man, if Final Fantasy 7 gets a remake, and they make a PS4 for just Final Fantasy 7, 
just give them, just give them my money. Just give them my money. Like here's all my money. Give me the final fantasy, final fantasy seven limited this in PS4. I never, I won't use it, but I'll keep it on display and I'll look at it. And um, oh, anime conventions. I was like, wow, something is taking all my money. I don't know what it is. Anime conventions, as well as birthdays, um, friends' birthdays, like just all in summer. My birthdays in the summer. Visiting my uh, sister. Uh, my two cats, um, hospital bills for them, and all types of uh, stuff that like I need to like save money for. So nine fifty, you know, it's very bad, very bad. That means no more casino, no more go drive taking a bus to go to the casino on Saturdays. Um, that means I probably shouldn't eat out this much. So on Instagram, I have a lot of old food pictures, but not many new ones, and I don't think I'm gonna make too many new ones. But at the end of the day. 950 was too much. <laughs> 950 over the span of uh, I think two weeks. Nasty. Uh, for Magic Origins of all products, right? Like Contra Tarkir, like 950 at Magic Origins is not recoupable. Contra Tarkir was recoupable. I did spend a lot. RTR is recoupable right now. Like the abrupt decays and stuff I pulled and all the other good stuff I pulled and was able to trade into. Um, I mean, I would just buy a legacy. I traded straight into a legacy deck for RTR and out of RTR products because standard was still extremely popular at that time and we didn't have the two set rotation type of deal. But anyway, um, yeah, 950 was too much. Uh, I'm set for standard though. I have all the cards I need. Uh, for Magic Origins and the previous set, I have a deck tech um, Absin Control with Liliana, and Liliana is actually very good in that deck. I love her to death. Uh, in that deck, and so yeah, that's it. Bye, guys.